Hi, I'm Doug the Bee Guy, and welcome to the Beginner Beekeeping Series. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to make Wonder One sugar syrup to feed your bees the easy way. Now let's get started. All right, the first thing we're going to do is take uh, three gallons of hot tap water and mix it with the uh, 25 pound bag of sugar, and that makes a one to one sugar syrup. Three gallons is 24 pounds. 25 pounds, close enough, a little bit more than three gallons uh, would be perfect, but it's close enough. For one to one sugar syrup, you only need to use hot tap water. It'll dissolve the sugar just fine uh, if you have reasonably hot tap water. If you're making two to one, you usually have to have uh, really, really hot tap water or add a pot of boiling water for it to totally dissolve. Um, what I usually do is if I'm making a lot, I turn up my water heater. 260 degrees or so when nobody's home and I use a hose and fill up a large amount of hot water and then I turn it back down to a safe level. All right, so we got our water, we got our sugar, and we're just gonna dump it in and stir it up. And as you dump it, you'll see the bubbles come out, and that's the sugar dissolving. And you can see why I have this uh, piece of paper down, because it makes a huge mess. And uh, if you're better off doing this outside, but since I'm filming it and I have uh, a lot of kitties that want to get in the way of the filming. I'm going to do it right here on this piece of paper in my bee building. Even though it's a bee building with honey and a mess, I still want to keep the mess to a minimum because it does get all over as you see. And then if you stir it vigorously, sometimes it gets all over. Or if you don't have the right amount of water, as you can see, I've done this a few times, so it's pretty close to exact. But if you put a little too much water in there, and you put all that sugar in, then it overflows or if you don't have enough water then you want to go get some and you dump in it gets all over so having a piece of paper down never heard anything i'm just stirring it with a frame thing it's the perfect length you see I always have one of these bars laying around it doesn't hurt anything a little sweet the bees will lick it off is there residue on there when you use this thing They'll be excited because it's a little snack. So that's all you really need to do for the one-to-one. -one. It'll dissolve just fine and uh, in a half hour or so it'll clarify. All those little white bubbles will rise to the top and you'll have a clear syrup. And this is what you want to feed your bees in the springtime. It uh, encourages them to build wax, especially if you have packages and you have brand new frames and you don't have any comb. You want to feed Feed your bees lots of this syrup and it'll stimulate them to build that wax. Because um, usually in the early spring you don't have much of a pollen or a nectar flow. Uh, you'll have some pollen and you may have some nectar depending on what part of the world you live in. But a lot of times it's just pollen and not a lot of nectar. So you definitely want to make sure they have enough resources to build wax if you're starting from scratch uh, with packages. And uh, even if you have comb, you still want to feed them, but it's more important if you have packages. So that's it. Five minutes. You got yourself five gallons of syrup, and you can do these in five-gallon buckets uh, one at a time, and you'll have plenty of syrup to feed your bees. Well, if you'd like to become a better beekeeper, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.